Hi, Tim Unkert here, and in this video, I'm going to show you how to install the latest version of Nano. If you watched some of my previous videos, you might have noticed that I'm using Vim, Emacs, sometimes VS Code, or Atom. So why am I installing Nano? Well, up until Halloween, I think I need to put myself in the Nano zone. The reason being is I'm a tinkerer. And with all these other systems, I just tinker too much, and I need to crack down and get coding. But on a Chromebook, you can install Nano pretty easily, uh, but I want to install the latest version, so I at least have that. Uh, Nano is a fantastic editor, and it works very well, but it doesn't have as many features to tinker with as some of those other editors. Anyways, I'm going to show you how to install the latest version of Nano. So uh, there are a couple of prerequisites. The first being that you have uh, the Linux environment in your Chromebook turned on. You'll see a prompt that's somewhat different than this. I've tinkered with my uh, terminal a bit to get it to look like this. Um, but you're going to see a prompt. And first thing you will want to do is do sudo apt update and sudo apt upgrade, usually. And that'll, that'll uh, install the latest... Um, or make sure you're all up to date, right? Then to install version, I believe, 3.2 at the time of this recording of Nano, you'd just type sudo apt install nano. And it would go ahead and install the nano text editor. That being said, 3.2 is not the latest version. We're up to version 5.8. So I'm going to go through the method that works for me to install it. I haven't tested it, so let me put a disclaimer out there of this... Um, you know, who knows what it'll do to my system. Uh, maybe I'll do some videos on how it's going with uh, Nano installed. Um, okay, so anyways, so what I'm going to do is bring up my Chrome browser here, and I'm going to search for Nano Text Editor. And I'm going to then, first thing that comes up is www.nano-editor.org. I'm going to click on that. And I go to this um, fancy website here that says uh, GNU Nano, okay? And here I can see that I need to get Nano, and um, I want to go get the source code gzipped. So I'm going to click on that. And that's going to download, and the download size is, uh, it says 2.9 megabytes. So that's going to be in my downloads folder. All right, so I'm going to copy this over to the Linux files here and paste that in, okay? And so now I have it in my Linux files, okay? So now I'm going to type tar, well, first I'm going to list it out so I can copy, copy it easily. So I'm going to type tar and then dash Z, and I always have to take a look at my notes for this, ZXVF and then a space, and then I just want to copy this, okay? And that's going to unzip it, okay? So I'm going to do Control-Shift-C to copy, and then Control-Shift-Z to paste, Control-Shift-V to paste, then hit Enter. Okay, so it's unzipped it. Now if I do LS to list out, I see that I have this nano-5.8 folder. So I'm going to change directory, so CD into nano-5.8, okay? Now what I need to do is configure. So I'm going to do a, a dot and a slash and just type configure. And it's going to go ahead and ah, it gives me an error. So I have to have a compiler in my path. Okay, So I'm going to do what I did when I installed the latest version of Vim. And I'm going to install some necessary things. Those are, well, I'm going to type sudo apt install git make uh, n curses. Now I may not need all this stuff, but it doesn't take much room. N curses dot, uh, dash dev, and then I need build essential. Uh, that's for the C and C plus plus compiling. Okay, so uh, I've got those, and I'm going to hit enter, and it's going to ask me if I want to use it's 160 megabytes of space. Yes, I do, because the cool thing about installing build essential is then I have the G plus plus and the GCC compiler. So I can code and compile my code in C and C++ in Nano. So that's going to be fun. 
All right, so this is going to go ahead and install that necessary stuff. And then we can go configure and make, and then we're going to install it. Okay, and I'll show you how to do that in just a second. While this does this, uh, since my internet, connect, internet connection is a little slow, I'm going to pause the video until it's done. Okay, welcome back. It has, uh, I've downloaded those things. And so now I'm in this uh, file. I can do a dot, a slash, and then type configure. And it's going to go ahead and uh, configure everything. Okay, so it's going to go through and do that. We'll just give it another little bit. It's running a little slow with the video. This went faster on my other Chromebook. Okay, now while I'm in the same folder, I'm going to type make. And it's going to row run and do that. And then I'll show you a little trick at the end that I needed to do to get it to run after I run the next command. Okay, again, this is running a little bit slower because the video is recording. Okay, last thing we have to run is sudo make install. Okay. All right, so now I'm going to CD out of here. And if I type nano, I might have an issue. Ah, but I don't. Okay, on the other computer, I had to do hash dash r. So just keep that in mind. But anyway, so uh, this one installed without having to do that. If you had a similar experience, please comment in the comments below. Um, so I've got Nano 5.8. You can see the latest version of Nano is installed. I can exit out of there. And now I can remove some stuff. So I'm going to remove the Nano-5.8 and the Nano-5.8.tar.gz. And... Uh, those, those are now removed if I look, and then I can just type nano and get right back in there, and I can start typing away and editing files. If you like this video, please like, subscribe, and hit the bell for notifications, as it'll really help the channel grow. And if you've already liked and subscribed to my videos, I thank you very much, and I hope you keep watching them, and I hope you find them entertaining. If you have a particular video topic you'd like me to cover, please comment in the comments below, and I hope to see you in the next one.